<laughs> history of New Hampshire where I'm at. And uh, it says, early historians record that in 1623, under the authority of English land grant, Captain John Mason is conjecture. Okay, so they, they set up a fishing community. It's about the place they call Little Harbor. Their uh, the other division under the Hilton Brothers set up their fishing stages on a neck of land eight miles above, which they called Northam, afterwards named Dover. So Dover is uh, up in the north part, close to Maine. Okay, so Captain John Smith of England, sailing along the New England coast and inspired by the charm of our summer shores and the solitude of our countrysides, wrote back to his countrymen, here should be no landlords to rack us with high rents or extorted fines to consume us. Here every man may be a master of his own labor and land in, and land in a short time. The sea here there is the strangest pond I ever saw. What sport doth yield a more pleasant con content and less hurt or charge than angling with a hook and crossing the sweet air from isle to isle over the silent streams of a calm sea? So, here should be no landlords to rack us with high rents. And in, in New Hampshire is some of the highest cost of living in the United States right now. I mean, it, it is high. And it's from real estate people, investors, house flippers, you know, greedy people. It's just, it was developed so greedy Whatever it was, I don't know because I'm new to here, but I don't know what it was like before they start, started the flipping houses stuff. And I don't know if it's a, a the native New Hampshire's are doing it or if it's people who moved here, whether it's Italian mafia, Jewish people, Catholics, um, you know, who just are aristocratic and don't care and um, aren't really think along with American people about a lot or uh, if it's just who it is I don't know you know or just people from the city like Massachusetts Boston area or if it's Californians who, want, who wanted to come here you know or people from Colorado both those places are really crappy. But, uh, they just don't care, you know. And, or if it's just people from Canada or people from England who came here, like, in the 70s, since the 70s, to get rich. And it was called New England, so they thought they'd come here, you know. But here should be no lands to rack us with high rents or extorted fines to consume us. Here every man may be a master of his own labor and land in a short time. Well, that probably was that way then, you know, for a while. The pilgrim days. <laughs> Thus the settlement of New Hampshire did not happen because those who came here were persecuted out of England. The occasion, which is one of the great events in the annals of the English people, was one plan which much care and earnestness by the English Crown and the English Parliament. Here James I began a colonization project which not only provided ships and provisions, but free land bestowed with but one important condition, that it remain always subject to English sovereignty. It remained until the War of the Revolution. Smith first named it North Virginia, but King James later revised this into New England. To the map was added the name Portsmouth, taken from the English town where Captain John Mason was commander of the fort, and the name New Hampshire is that of his, his own English county of Hampshire. Captain Mason died in 1635, just before his proposed trip to the new county, which he never saw. He said more than 22,000 ponds in clearing the land, building houses, preparing for his defense. A considerable fortune for those days. By then, Port Portsmouth expanded into Hampton and Exeter, 
we came from fishing was increased, but that from trade was first started. Taking the idea from the English government, a community of towns was erected, and this became a rural province in 1679 with John Cut as president with population intended to be as nearly England as could be the royal province. I don't know. Uh, Exeter was 1638. I was trying to see who the first judge was. I wonder why these captains were Johns. Because I know that there's John Smith. And then when John Smith got fired, John Elkins took his place. John, <laughs> I don't know why they just have these John guys. Maybe it was just a lot of Johns back then. The king just liked the name John. Oh, here's another John. Later became Sir John Wentworth. Governor Sir John Wentworth's beneficial. Okay, the governor, Sir John Wentworth. We get a Benjamin. Oh, General John Stark. John Paul Jones. John Langdon is the first acting vice president of the United States. We had John Adams. Oh, I just call you as well. What should we name our baby? I know, John. It's so creative, honey. I never would have thought that name. Why did you name him John? Everybody else names their kid John.
You're so intelligent, eh? Fifteen hundred lakes or ponds and forty thousand miles of rivers and streams. Quite a few lakes and ponds. For a little place. Still doesn't say well, first judge. Maybe I just missed it. <laughs> Joseph Dudley was governor. Legislature right away, so they had to have judges. was mean.